Alright guys, what is happening is your boy Miles Morales Spider-Man aka 2024 Miles from TikTok on YouTube coming back to you with another video. Um and yes, I am playing Star Wars because this is going to be a uh, Star Wars video um of sorts. And this is actually to talk about um believe it or not Star Wars theory. Now, as of currently, if y'all if y'all haven't seen on YouTube, it's literally all over your recommended. Like you couldn't miss it. Um, the Alkaline show had been canceled, and the actors who played uh, Osha and May is currently getting a lot of hate and a lot of like like being called a fake victim. There's literally people that I've seen in, in some of the videos, the YouTube videos calling her, you know, she's not truly black or that, you know, the Aquaman show was woke and, and everything, this, that, and third. And um, as of right now, there is a petition going by Star Wars Explained, who is a YouTuber that I follow. I haven't personally met the guy. Um, you know, calling out the the ones who were being racist and and you know bigots to the actress. And I'm here to talk about now. I know early on in the video I said this video is about solitary and 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 and, and before I, before we get into like the full on video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those pin spell so you know when I upload and stream. Um, I w I have been streaming Star Wars Outlaws, which I have been enjoying like a lot. So there's that. But yeah. But anyway, we don't get in full video. But no, like when it comes to like this whole ordeal, right? I think what a lot of people are missing out I'm sorry. and like a lot of people are missing on when it comes to this whole entire situation with the whole Alkalot show is that the Alkalot show was hated on before it even got a chance to like show anything. And and what I mean by that, and I know there's gonna be somebody in the comments gonna be like what do you mean? The, the show came out and then we, we saw a lot. We, we don't need... What, what do you mean? What I mean by is that back at Star Wars Celebration, like way back when, I'll, I'll probably say what it was, like 2022, 2023, um, when, it, when it came out or whatever. I, I think it was 2022 because I think the Aqualife was announced during the same time as Jedi Survivor. I think that came, I think that got announced back in 2022. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. But I, I remember being um, one of the few who didn't get to go to Star Wars Celebrations, but being one that was able to actually stream Star Wars Celebration on my channel um, back in the day in 2022 and saw a good majority of stuff, including when the Avalanche show was announced and I remember being so hyped for it and like a lot of a uh, good majority of the Star Wars fans were happy hyped for the Oculus show because you know this was set in the High Republic and we've been asking for a High Republic show but I also remember while the good fans and like the, the real Star Wars fans were out here like you know the fans that were hyped for the show were, were willing to give it a chance the haters overshine the the Star Wars fans that were actually extremely hyped for the show, and I I remember like seeing nothing more than just a whole bunch of videos like being slack like of slack tire and and just hatred and 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 like telling people we should they should boycott the show or the show is going to be trash because this that and the third. Like, this show was hated on when it got announced, when there was nothing to show for it, when it was just a title. And I think 
when it comes to that, that's what, like, there's a reason it didn't have a good amount, majority of our audience on release. Because, you know, you look at shows like uh, The Outlaws, you look at shows like She-Hulk, you look at shows like, you look at all these shows that came out that were announced and a good majority of them didn't really have um, a good, okay. like, view count. Like, like, even though there will be people that will try to sit here and tell me, like, bro, the Miss Marvel show didn't have a good view count, but Miss Marvel had a, a higher view count than She-Hulk and, and a few other shows. But granted, it wasn't, you know, on the same level. And yes, I'm using a game mic when I'm making this video because I am re I'm recording this for my PS5. But, you know, like, while it had a higher view count than, like, you know, She-Hulk or, or WandaVision, um, it wasn't, you know, as high as, like, something, let's say, like, Mandalorian or, like, the Soka show, so on and so on. But, again, that's see you later that's five. because, a good while there were the majority that were fans of Miss Marvel, like, the real Miss Marvel fans who, like, understand that, okay, they most likely not really changing her powers or this, that, and third, that really tuned in, you had more people hating on it, calling it out, saying it's a, a woke <sighs> agenda, cool. or that, you know they're not fond of it because of the whole quote-unquote change in power setting even though her powers weren't changed and even now like there's people who are just like that um you know the whole power change doesn't really suit her but then it's like you understand that if you actually watch the show bruno says that you know the power's always been in her it's just okay. Here we go. The ban was the catalyst to, you know, her finding her power and whatnot. It's kind of what triggered it. Instead of it being like a freak accident, she's already had these powers to begin with because she's immune. But again, like a lot of people did not watch the show. And that is because a lot of these YouTubers were out here telling people, don't watch it, boycott it. We don't want this. This isn't what we want. This isn't true Marvel. This isn't true, uh, you know, if you like this, then, you know, you're just supporting this whole deal of this woke society and and all this other, Inputting all this other shit. And I, 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 again, like, now, when it comes down to Star Wars theory, right, I don't, like, there's, I, I've watched a good majority of his videos, like, I remember his, um, his video, I think it was, like, 2015, 2016, uh, no, it was 2015, like, you know, the whole Snoke thing about, you know, like, Snoke possibly actually being Dark Plagueis somehow, or, or so on and so on. Like, I, I've been following Solid Theory for a minute, but, however, like, there, was there some some stuff about him that came out like years ago that he did that on fuck with sports and and it's like does he have some videos that i don't agree like i'm i'm gonna be honest like there's some videos where i'm like he's on the money and then there's some videos where i'm like bro i don't really think you're you're, you're going about this the right way like there, there's a good majority of the videos that i don't really fuck with but some of them i'm like he's got a like he's got a good point you know and with this whole Amanda thing, I, I do think that, like, as, and, and this is just, like, me talking indirectly, but, like, I, I do believe, like, with as big of a, as a channel that he has, like, there should be, like, you should be calling out, you know, the toxic fandom, because I'll, I'll, hell, I'll even do that, like, I got freaking 3,586,000 followers on TikTok right now, and when me and my friends talk about Star Wars, I'll, I dead ass will sit there and challenge, you know, people on the Star Wars knowledge and, and stuff, like, like, granted, there's a lot of people who don't know how the whole, like, uh, rank, not ranking, but, like, the whole 
Jedi Master and and Jedi Knight system works and in and current era or how one becomes a Jedi Master, like a lot of people think you have to physically be knighted by a Jedi Master or by a, the council to become a master, but if you really sit down through lore, the whole point on how a Jedi goes from being a Padawan to a knight and how a knight becomes a Jedi Master, in order for a knight to become a Jedi Master, he must fully train their Padawan into knighthood. Once they fully train their Padawan into knighthood, they will be a Jedi Master. And then for the knight, they would have to take on, for them to be a master, they would have to take on a Padawan and, you know, then train their Padawan to go to fully into knighthood prime example why Ezra is a Jedi Knight granted he's a Jedi Knight now we, we don't know like he did help and hand in training Sabine so I mean by technicality you could say he's a master due to the fact that he technically trained Sabine along with Kanan like again people think because of the title Jedi Knight Kanan, uh, Kanan Jedi Knight, that he was only a knight, but in actual reality, Kanan was, was a master the, the moment he died, because again, he had fully trained Ezra into knighthood at that point, because a lot of people seem to forget that Ezra was still a Padawan when Kanan was blind, he didn't fully get, he didn't fully become a knight until, you know, Kanan fully trained him into knighthood, and now that Ezra had fully been trained into knighthood, like, he, he's a Jedi Knight, like, again, you could, out of technicality, say he's a master because of the speed thing. But, like, the same thing goes with, with Ahsoka. Like, we all know Ahsoka left the Jedi Order before she could finish her, before Anakin could fully train her into a knight. But, mind you, she had already went through the challenges and, and, and all the stuff that tested her strengths of being a Jedi Knight. Which is granted why, you know, well, Kuhn was like, yo, they're, like, you have the strength of a Jedi Knight, the true heart of one. But again, Anakin never fully trained her, so for this, she never became a Jedi Knight, let alone um, a, a master. But, mind you, she essentially, right, if you're going off of it, she essentially right now is a Jedi Master. Only due to the fact that now she has not only been fully trained by Anakin due to the whole World Between Worlds episodes, and that being her final test, but she had also fully trained Sabine into being a Jedi Knight, so for there that makes her a master. And you know, there will be people out there that would be like, you're wrong, you're, you're stupid, you're dumb. No, that, that wouldn't happen, That that's not how that works, you have to physically be knighted by, by, by a Jedi Master one that was in the council in order for them to be a master but that's not the case and you know again i don't i i don't hate star wars theory do i think do i dislike him for some of the like shit that had came out about him sure but i don't i don't again i don't hate the guy I, and i think like low-key because again I, i'll stand by the same like there should be like some type of you know we need to like there should be some there there should be some type of like you know like actual like calling out like again uh, I, I Star Wars theory I say this was like one 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 three is another like granted you're probably not gonna see this but again my channel really isn't as big as I'm on TikTok but like granted like like granted like what as big as you are like there should be some like some like i feel like you should do some more like you know digging and and everything about you know the, the whole star wars thing 
or or look into it more because like there are people out here who are like you know being racist and and calling her like a fake victim like mind you there's a whole thing on twitter where it's like amanda vine or amanda is like or mandala is, is a drug dealer or 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 she's a fake victim or 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 she's just you know she's an addict like there's literally people out here saying this and a good majority of them saying this because she she's not lying like as a person who a, a person of color in the industry like there is a they face a lot of these challenges like look at jonathan majors man was playing one of the most biggest characters in marvel and all that got taken away because they literally said he wasn't guilty but the only thing that found him guilty was was because he was running away from his girlfriend and he accidentally bumped in there so now they found him guilty like but you saw how the internet reacted the moment that uh uh the girlfriend came out and said he laid a finger on her no one no one cared to ask questions no one no one cared to be like oh let's wait no no one cared to be like oh you know it, it it's it, it it's too early to say uh, 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 about this like pe people just jumped the gun and and a lot of them were were you know races a lot of them were uh, uh, a lot of them were racist a lot of them were a lot of them were just mass like hating just to hate like there there's a lot of people that were just hating to hate and and everything you know like and, and i'm i'm like low-key i feel like the ones that like do go after star wars theory like video wise like granted have i have there been times where i've talked to my friends about star wars theory and and you know express like how i feel about them yes but like I feel like the ones who haven't sat here and made bit, like videos on him and, and stuff like granted there is a good majority of channels that actually have proof of like stuff and things that he that he's done and and have proof to back it up. So like I don't really question them, but like the ones that just straight sit is that a cannon? But the ones that just sit there and just like straight have a problem with him but don't really provide evidence is it it's like you know like, like like i feel like people go about the wrong way and don't really just take the time to sit down and like maybe like you know like have a like a in-game like chat with him or or, or or something or maybe even like or maybe like even you know just like a a, a quick line. Or there, there's like there's just like some things that I, I don't think people really think. And, and which is why, like m m again, this video is just to spread the whole Star Wars like half life problem. Which again, there is a problem in the Star Wars fandom, like because I'm gonna be real, a lot of you Star Wars fans and a lot of you Star Wars YouTubers will be the ones that sit here and ask for a lot of shit like again there were i remember the time where people were asking for the acolyte show or or something regarding the high republic and then when we get it it's like all there was was just straight hate for the show before the show even came out and then when the show did come out all it was was just straight hate and you know was that was the acolyte perfect like no i don't like was it perfect it, it wasn't perfect but it wasn't bad either like to me personally i've sat there and watched the whole entire show and i generally love it i don't i think that you know could the pacing been a little better sure but as a star wars show overall it it certainly wasn't as bad as something as like the book of boba fett like i like i did us remember and, and you know the like this is something that Star Wars there even went into his video when he's talking about Star Wars, uh, Star Wars explain. But like, I remember Deadass back like a long ass time ago, um, when the Mandalorian came, Mandalorian season two came out, or was it season, no it's season three, um, when season three came out, 
and everything like i remember um my friend was telling me to watch it and i was like you know i'm not gonna watch it or i'm not gonna like i don't have time to watch it because i was very busy with like school work and 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 other stuff at that time and you know get into college but then i was like i sat there and watched it because you know there was all these there was this one thing that my one of my friends at the time which i don't even consider them to be a friend anymore because of uh, other that would be a video for another time to explain like why uh and who this friend was and so on and so on but like i remember like he was telling me like there's something that um that happened where you know he wanted me to watch because he wanted to talk to me about it and everything so I wound up watching the show, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm just watch season three for the hell of it. And what he was talking about was the whole Grogu thing and how, like, you know, Grogu didn't get captured or this, that, and third, and how they didn't have the DNA. And I remember, like, him asking me, like, do you believe that they're gonna decanonize the sequels now? And I tell, and I remember telling him, like, no, that doesn't mean they're gonna denet canonize the sequels or wreck on the sequels because again um the sequels made money like whether people like to admit it or not the the sequels actually made money like granted i don't like the last jedi i uh, know there's a lot of people who like the last jedi like me personally i will always say that my ranking for the sequels is force awakens was amazing last jedi was awful and Rise of Skywalker was better than Last Jedi. Like that that's just me. Granted, I know there's people that will sit here and, and call me dumb for saying that, but at the same time that that's the toxicness that that a lot of people call out. But going back to the whole like story thing, but like I I just remember like telling him like bro, no, this doesn't mean it, it's gonna get canon decanonized. Just because Grogu and this, that, and third, Palpatine doesn't have Grogu doesn't mean that that whole entire story arc, what happens to Rise of Skywalker, it, it is going to be decanonized. And I remember just having this big back, like this big uh, back and forth argument with him, and him being like, "Well, but Palpatine does this, that, and third, so for there you can't have the clone." And I'm like, "Bro, we just go forget the comic books where Palpatine literally like." And, and canon, like the comic books are literally can. I want to make that clear. Comic books are canon to the story and the movies. Like Palpatine literally had the whole entire like fleet of star destroyers already like in his category. Like he already had this shit planned ahead like beforehand. So like he already figured like bro, there, there's gonna be like if he can't get let's say Grogu or something, then there's another way that he can come back. But then I'm like bro, we just gonna forget that you know. This is the this is the same guy who was under Dark Plagueis, who 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 Plagueis taught, you know, how to cheat death, how to use the force and bend to his own will and and, and you know do this that, and third. Like Palpatine literally cheat death. But I remember like talking to him about it and I remember him calling me uh like stupid. Him calling me stupid, dumb and, and retarded for, for for believing that the the sequels weren't going to get decanonized and i'm like bro you you're calling me dumb and retarded because you you don't like the fact that you're wrong and i'll be honest like i i would generally love to kind of like just like sit down with star wars theory and, and you know just like have a general like conversation because i i feel like i feel like and I, i'm again speaking from creators point of view like even as of now right like with the amount of phones i have on tiktok like there are people out here who are trying who are just current like at the moment slandering my name trying to slander my name but again like a lot of them aren't succeeding because again the following that i build for for years now like they they know me. like like they know me they they know when someone's just trying to hate or when when someone is just trying to silence somebody or silence me like like there are those people and, and because you know like at the moment i can't really 
get on my main phone to do my videos on TikTok. So, but this gives me an opportunity to build my, uh, to build my following on YouTube. So, you know, until I could get money to fix my phone, but like, but it's just like this whole ordeal, like, there should be some calling out. Like, granted, I don't even like, like, cause I do believe that some Star Wars creators are just straight biased and, and won't call out the issue or, you know, the, the problem with the Star Wars community and the actual toxic ones. Like, there's just so many people that won't call it out and a good majority of them will be big as Star Wars theory. But, you know, like, again, I feel like the reason a lot of people can't get Star Wars Theory to see their point of view is because they just keep going after him and they keep attacking him. Which is why, like, the Star Wars Theory, if you ever see this video, like, again, if this ever gets cracks in or if it ever just comes across, you're recommended. Like, I would generally want, would like to, like, one Star Wars fan from one creator to another just dead ass just like sit down with you and and kind of like like pick at your brain in, in, in a sense or, or just have a straight conversation and you know like just see how like to, to kind of like talk about the whole Star Wars community and just like this this whole order ordeal in general because again I I do think that the Star Wars community as a whole not 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 talking about the actual good Star Wars fans who are out there but like just talking about the Star Wars like talking about the Star Wars community as a whole as in the like oh my god the ones that are just straight toxic racist and bigot like I would like I would like to freaking like talk to the to, to, uh, you about that because again I like you know a, as a creator myself like with the amount of phone that I have there is a lot of stuff that you can say and a lot of stuff that you shouldn't say uh, again not saying that somebody that's as big should censor themselves because like again like I'm one to sit there and tell people like I really don't care about how you feel about my opinion or if I'm or how you feel about the fact that I'm telling you the facts and truth of the argument on how you know this all the buckle like I care less and if they're hurt they're hurt you're fine but it also is our job to ask readers that like you know we should call out the the problem when we see it instead of just being like straight biased or joining them not saying that you know not saying that that's what star wars theory is doing but to the public eye it can be looked at that way because of you know how he goes about it or or the amount of stuff that he like he's calling out and and all this other shit like because, you know, that that should happen with me when, like, this whole debacle of the of this whole Kratos debate that, hap that was happening on TikTok where people were just saying that, you know, why, um, why, why do we have Kratos as this, that, and third? But then people would show them, like, bro, Kratos was actually black before, you know, the whole curse because if you go to the actual PS2 era and when the trailer came out like you see that Kratos had dark skin and and all this other shit and I remember like looking back at my video when, when I said that and my video was stacking up at like damn near what like one if like 20k if not like more like I think it was like a thousand something like three thousand I think it's gotta be at like four thousand something right now like four thousand K it, it's pro but then again it's probably at a million at the moment nowhere and we're outgunned anybody please we need assistance 
But then again, it's probably at like a million now. Because again, it's been a while since I made a video. So it, it's, but again, it's constantly stacking up. But again, I remember like a lot of people in the comments section like being like, bro, this man literally showing y'all proof. Literally showing y'all evidence and like there's y'all y'all are still in the now. And again, I remember a lot of people telling me like, bro, I'm dumb, I'm stupid, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about because again, Kratos is from Greek mythology and this, this, that, and third. So, but there were no, there were no Greek black people back then. But then I'm like. Y'all can say that, but then, again, most of these stories that are made were made from black people. Like, a lot of people sit here and, and don't know that the first cowboy was a black cowboy. But, because again, it's a society. And uh, the amount of time that we were living in, people made it off of, like, white people. Like, there, there's a lot of stuff that people don't like getting called out. And a good majority of people are just people who are racist and don't want to see Luck's holding out. or be told that they're wrong because they they don't like being told that they're wrong they they like to be this person who hey I'm who's Kay. sitting there I like and being like oh help. no we're right and you you're did. wrong and I hope you oh but if we don't have this because there's more third, coming like literally there's a whole video I, I gotta find a YouTube channel but there's literally a whole YouTuber who literally is talking about the acolytes and literally said this show is woke because there's not a there's not a white single male in the show and it's like you know it's stuff like that that a lot of people are saying like don't call it there you're this big youtuber but it's like you're not you're, you're not calling out this side of the fandom and as big as you are you should like it's sort of your job to do it because again like i do my face based off of like spider-man and marvel content but that didn't stop me from making other content like you know calling out this one dude prime example for saying that all gamer women are just do nothing but just we can make things sexual and show the children da 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 and again, I, I was one to call out that person and be like, you're just saying that because you're sexist, you're this, that, and third. Granted, I wasn't downplaying that, you know, harder some women would do that. Yeah, sure, but that's not the majority of gaming women who actually just go on Twitch to play the game. And if we're being real, a good majority of the people that watch them, they are male audiences and kids, but the only reason people think like this is because, again, a majority of the male audience only look at one thing and one thing only, which I think is so fucking stupid. Oh, that worked. And there was just like, you know, other content that I made besides from my basic normal content. Like, like even when it came down to the Spider-Man fandom, I called out the people that were just straight being like, not biased, but being just straight toxic and, and calling out other fans. Or, or trying to say that they're not a real Marvel oh, fan because lucky. they didn't do this, that, and third. Like, and it got to a point. Like, granted, I was at a, I was at 1K at that, oh. at that point. But I slowly started to realize that I have this big platform, especially now. Like, I have this big platform, this big page, and there really is shit that i can't say and there's shit that i can say like there there is shit that i should say and people that i should call out but then it's like but then it's like people come after me for 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 saying this like when people were were getting on the girl for or this one, uh, this one girl, because she was at, uh, at a Chris Brown concert with her boyfriend, and Chris Brown called her up on stage and, you know, gave her, like, a lab dance and everything. And people were going straight after their oh, girlfriend and be like, oh my god, you're a cheater, oh my god, you're, 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 you're unloyal to your boyfriend, and, you know, the boyfriend was overly mad, and it's like, oh my god, my girl cheated, but then it's like, 
uh, again, I had to call it out and be like, y'all saying she's unworthy and un 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 unloyal, but then had the, you know, let, just passed away. let, let it been a, you know, let, let it have been a man, let, let it have been a boyfriend, get in straight up, you know, lap danced by a female or whatever um and whatnot then y'all would have freaking condemned the man for being oh my god a cheater and this that and third because again there was a lot of people saying that this girl was a cheater for it there was a lot of people saying that she's fine but then it's like they would have those same ones would have called the guy a cheater and and all this shit but then it's like the moment it's a woman doing it, it it's a problem or the moment it's a male doing it it's a problem like there's there's a lot of shit that people don't want to call out because again they're scared that they don't get proven wrong and in this case for afterlife like there's a lot of people who were hating on the show before launch which is why I didn't have a, a good majority of a view count. Like, because when you hate on a show before it comes out, when it's just a title, and you keep hating on it and hating on it, good chances are that there's not really going to be that huge of an audience tuning in because they've seen all these videos, they've seen all these people talking about it, big YouTubers, big TikTokers, whatever the case may be, saying that this movie or show is going to be trash. And there was even no footage for it. So when there is footage for it, and people look at it, people have this idea and thought in their head because of who they listen to, it, it's gonna be trash, so we're not gonna support it. And that's how movies and shows get the low view count that they do. Now granted, that's not always the case. Sometimes it is just because the show's straight bad. And, and you know, it, it was like, you know, it wasn't as great as, like, let's say, the next show or the next movie. But the modern generation that we live in now, it's like people will just hate on something to hate on it and get it canceled and, and stuff. Like, even with this game, like, there were people hating on this game. But then, like, bro, this game got, like, an 8.5. This game has a high view count right now. And a lot of people will be like, oh, no, this game is bad. This game is terrible because oh you you can't do this and third or why are we playing as women like so much shit that nobody calls out when it comes to this fandom but but yeah that but anyway y'all that's the video for today um again star wars theory if you ever see this i would generally just like to like actually sit down and and, and talk with you low key about like this this whole entire thing um and again kind of take out your brain real quick or like just 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 to kind of like for for each for us to see it from the other's point of view and you know everything because again like there there is a lot that there is a lot that a, the star wars fandom um won't call out and again i feel like Again, a lot of people, uh, Star Wars theory don't, doesn't see a lot of people's point of view because of certain, like, the way that they go at him instead of at the talk him. But anyway, y'all, um, tune in for a stream later on today. I will be streaming this. Um, but anyway, guys, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me how you feel about this whole Star Wars um, explain versus Star Wars theory and Alkalot situation in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you know when I upload and stream, and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, get out of here. Peace.